Okay. Okay. So here we are again. Here we have a well worn gansey, which is great because it's what we should do. Um, so it, it needs a wee bit of a a repair to the cuff. Uh, and we, we know that a lot of them did need repairs to the cuff and that they could just be cut off and knitted down. Um, we, we think from the clues here, we think that there might have been um, an, an issue with getting more of the same yarn because the neck has been extended here by a few rows, the rib. And it looks to be a slightly different yarn that has been used. Uh, so maybe maybe there was no more to be had. But you mm. you have thoughts on the yarn, don't you? I do because I think it's again a three ply, but it's very unusual because it's um a colour marl, almost like they do with the Harris tweed, where they blow lots of different colours into a big room and create um, an initial colour palette which is then spun out from the fleece and this has got that and when you look at the mistake that the, the, the little rib that needs repair here you can really see that it's a three ply and you can see the number of colours that have gone into this to make a classic kind of lovett green mm -hmm. um, very Good. much a Scottish colour and very unusual for Gansey. This mm -hmm. is from the Moray Fir area and there was a very old mill there which I believe was owned by JC Rennie which was a water powered mill and they would have been making yarn I believe something like this um, so it has similarities with the Shetland um, in the colour the way the colour's been created and it may have had Shetland fleeces in it because it's a, a very fine quality isn't it Sheila? it is and it um, beautiful, beautiful colour. Beautiful you know, the more you go into it, you see kind of reds, pinks, corn colour, and turquoise, green, love it. So it is a really lovely, complex, complex colour. And the pattern mm, is a double marriage line. It's a double marriage line, or... Um, as exact, very, very finely done, interspersed with um, two sets of cables running across. So it's zigzag cable, zigzag cable, zigzag cable, separated just by pearl, a couple of pearl stitches each In between time. The, the cables. So <clears throat> actually keeping the, the, the pattern uh, relatively simple lets the lets the yarn come through mm. a bit more yeah. and then the plain the plain sleeves because normally you knit a gansey the plain colour you do so you see the <coughs> stitch work really you clearly. absolutely do but this time it's the balance has slightly changed because yeah. of the yarn that was used and the knitter needed the wider <coughs> panels of the stocking stitch to let the stitches pop out more and mm. be seen mm. Um, mm. but we're we're um we're very impressed with the way that this she is has beautiful. used <coughs> her, <coughs> excuse me, her cables, her pairs of cables, which is an integral feature of the Gansey. Uh, so she's used the, the two pearl stitches between the cables to lead into the gusset. And it's actually a gusset which is not an even diamond. <coughs> So the <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> the bottom half of the gusset, the body half, if you like, is beautifully framed with the cable with the cables going up either side, each side, which is wonderful, absolutely wonderful. Um, and then the sleeve part, because the sleeve is plain, she has basically just decreased and got rid of the gusset. She's got rid of it very quickly. Quite quickly. Mm. She's she's just let yeah. it she's just let it go, um, and you know focused focused really on the cable part, and then she's used the cable continuing right up to the shoulder here. She's used the cable to frame the sleeves, 
which I love doing. It's, it's something I like doing <clears throat> very much. To make it, you know, it, it, it just takes it to another level. But the thing I find that's um, very telling about the skill of the knitter as well is that she has picked up her sleeve stitches direct on each side directly after the cable and she's not put in a purl stitch she hasn't put in any she hasn't given herself a safety margin no she's gone straight into she's gone straight into it and into and, knit and obviously that means that one of my favorite things her edges must have been really great <laughs> yeah I, well yes very something that we very stable yeah you have very to have a very stable. stable edge on the two section of the gansey that are knitted on straight pins not in the round the front and the back yeah the yoke mm -hmm. and having a very good tight edge because yeah. that's where you pick up from so she's picked up so beautifully so then the fabric for the sleeve is knit which creates like the jersey fabric um and it comes straight out of the cable without there being an interruption with the purl mm -hmm. which is fabulous mm -hmm. Really mm. lovely. The other, the other interesting thing here, I'm, I mentioned that the neck had been knitted on a bit at a different time, later date, slightly different yarn perhaps. Um, Di loves the, the button, neck. The buttoned neck is fabulous because it's in a rib, ribbed neck. But and I have seen this in other Gansies. The um, the section where they're going to put the buttons, they have stopped the rib and transferred into reverse stocking stitch on both the front and the back. Garter? Garter stitch. Garter. Garter stitch. And they've put their <coughs> buttonholes into the garter stitch. So it, it just makes for a beautiful section. And that then runs into the so the saddle. Shoulder, the, the, the shoulder extension. Well, it's a shoulder extension. It's, it's, it's a shoulder point. extension because, and the thing is, if if we assume. We had a discussion about this. We did. If we assume that the buttons mm. are usually, or maybe not always, but usually on the left yeah. shoulder, that means that this knitter has chosen to knit her shoulder extensions up from the back coming over the front mm -hmm. she has done a form of um, rig and furrow she's done three pearl rows on the back then she has done maybe eight rows of knit coming over the top where normally there would be another mm -hmm. ridge there but she's chosen she's not to do that nice and plain it's she's really chosen lovely. not to do that and then three more rows of pearl, and then she has done her internal three needle cast off on the front. Yeah. Normally it, it's on the back. Normally it's on the back. Mm -hmm. um, and you would you would only really know if you turned it inside out. Yes. And had a look. Yes, because, because you can't tell. Poke from, about in there from the front. And you found she does that lovely this line too. That's. It's, it's a lovely transition it from is, the cables. Yeah, no, she's done a she's done into a the really, rib. a really good done a really good job. And again, really it's quite job. a light. It's got a nice lightness to it, hasn't mm -hmm. it? It's. Do you not think that's something to do with the amount of wear that it's had? And it will have made it lighter, unquestionably. The 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 stiffness, the rigidity. Um, because I feel this is possibly woolen spun, right? Not worsted spun. Well, we thought and we, that means that you can see the we, little we hairs. We thought there were little hairs, a little bit of loft, and that means that they will have shed mm -hmm. over the years to give this more smooth, polished look. Mm -hmm. Whereas it it would have had more loft in 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 its original like in its early early days yes in its early life but again it's a beautiful gansey it's a very proficient knitter um lovely cast on edge there and 
it's perfectly proportioned, isn't mm-hmm. it, with all the lovely little details. Mm. And it's lovely to see it in another colour as well, which mm. tells a whole other yeah, it gets us all northern Scottish gets us story. All up again. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's a it's a it's a good blending of of, of two traditions mm. really, wouldn't you say? Yeah, I think so. We love it. <laughs>